Hello, this is Arranged Code 716 here, and um, welcome to my first in real life video. Right now, I'm just showing off my airsoft rifle that I will be making a video on soon. Well, firing it. It's got. yeah. It is a. uh, Russian. Kalishnikov. Sniper rifle, and based off of the AK-47, this thing was, uh, I think, either Vietnam or Korean War era. You may recognize it from Call of Duty Black Ops, but Black Ops uses the NATO classification for it. Yes. Americans. But anyway. The it is electric powered. It's got a mag that holds two hundred little pellets. Don't know. Hold on. Uh, you can't really see into there, but there's a little uh, thing in there that reels the pellets up into here, which takes them up here and yeah holds up to 200 pellets I'm going to be firing these when I fire it it's got the dragon of stock or whatever you want to call it Kalishnikov, Dragunov, whatever. And... The bolt action is useless, but I guess it's because you could take... You could take this off, and... You... I guess you can convert it into, um, pump action. It's, uh, fully automatic. Um, it's like... Oops, I got the safety on. Uh, it's out of battery right now, but I ought to charge it. Uh, it is very, very loud. There you go. Yes, it fires uh, 450 feet per second. The pellets don't actually go that far because they will be interrupted by the wind or whatever uh, obstacles are in their way. Yeah. And... Fun fact that, you know, the AK-12, this is what it's based off of. Funny, huh? Looks so much different. The AK-12 wasn't actually based straight off the AK-47, it was based off the Kalishnikov, or, as you may say, the Dragunov. And... Yeah. I don't know what else to do right now. Kind of just... Sitting home alone. Got only one more final exam. Yeah. It's, this is quite an epic gun. Let me just try something for a moment. It, oh god, it's heavy. It's, uh, can I do this first person shooter style? <laughs> oh god. Hello. I am in my mother's room. Oh, I don't want to go into the mirror. I don't want to show my face. But, yeah. Let me adjust the camera. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, since I'm not going to show my face, um, I'm going to strap a camera to my, either my forehead or my neck, to try to get a good, like, first-person shooter kind of perspective on it. It is going to be epic. 
more epic than any other airsoft show off video. This will just be a video just showing off my airsoft gun. Trying to still trying to figure out how to strap a camera to myself to get a good perspective on that. Let me just show you guys where the battery is. I can't really act like such a big time YouTuber here. Damn it, what is this I can't get? Battery is in here. Very odd looking battery. Okay, I'm gonna just shove it into the uh, handguard. Uh, and. Yeah. Um, one question I want to ask you guys if anybody is watching this. I can't. Again, I cannot stress this enough. I cannot act like a big time YouTuber. I know Kate Soares does. But. Uh, that's because he's got much more views than me, so. He has actually got the few odd people that comment on his videos. But. And there's a lot of people who look for these videos but are not signed into YouTube so it doesn't technically count as a view so if you're one of those people viewing these videos please sign in it's free to make a YouTube account you don't even need to make a channel you can just sign in with Google and you'll be able to have your views count as actual views to the video and yeah, sorry for the loneliness yeah And well then, it's actually don't tell anybody, but where I live, it is illegal. Yes, I said that. Well, at least using it outdoors. <laughs> Taken literally, but yeah. I don't know what else to say right now, but... Just take a second to view how awesome this thing looks. To get a proper perspective, because when you're, where you're watching it may look smaller than it actually is. Uh, I don't want to show myself right now, but... Oh, sorry, that would make the camera weird. I'm so sorry. Not used to this kind of crap. Okay, my height is, uh... Oh god, I don't even know my own height. Well, I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but... Just imagine it being... Okay, I'm... Here's a little secret. I'm 15 years old. So, do not stereotype this, but a 15 year old standing to this thing, it's up to my chest. And one more thing I forgot to show you. It's got adjustable irons. It's kind of difficult, but. Adjustable irons, camera, please autofocus. It's not going to autofocus, but there's little numbers on there uh, showing like where your sights are at. So like right now I have it at uh, one or no zero. That goes all the way up to twelve. Twelve is just ridiculous. That's only if you're using the. Uh, whatever this thing is. Oh yeah, cheek rest. If you're using the cheek rest, you will be able to adjust it to 9. It's kind of one extreme to the next. If you're not using the cheek rest, if you're just resting your cheek here, uh, you will want to have the sights at um, 
1 or 0. And if you do buy one of these, or if you do want to, I got the, this thing at an airsoft store. Well, I guess my parents got it for me, but screw it. It is... Uh, the brand name is King Arms. Oh god, I don't want to go into my room, but... Ah, screw it, I'll go into my room. Show you... Nah, my room is a horrible mess right now. Sorry. There's the box. To prove that the brand name... KSOR is just self-advertising on my channel. I do business advertising on my channel. Yeah. My room... I'll just name this video my first IRL video. Get... I got some posters. Uh, keep, don't mind that mess there. That's a lot of my Mega Box stuff. Uh, got a couple of lights above my bed. Uh, I am religious. You can see. Uh, yeah. Didn't mean to give away so much personal information, but I kind of had to. Alright, uh, this video is getting kind of long for an introductory video. I shall go back to this. Oh, and one more little advertisement. I'm sure you could read that logo. If you cannot, 